measurements, like millimetres, we use a, that a lot in plumbing and um, at radius, area, perimeter, all that kind of stuff that comes into it is a big part of plumbing. Length of pipe and uh, area of pipe in like the diameter in the middle of it, uh, it comes in really comes in handy with plumbing. So you need you need to know it if you're going to be a plumber really. To calculate like room, sort like the BTUs, so like radiators and stuff. That's what we do. Uh, I use it for the measurements. Like if I have to get one measurement and take away uh, like like 50 off that measurement, uh, you have to use maths for that as well. So there's one that is um, involves gravity of the force of gravity if there's water coming down a pipe and has to turn and go back up. So you've got to work out the force of gravity coming down the pipe times by the force coming down the pipe the other side and then you've got to divide them together and then the air pressure as well. You've got to do an equation with that and then it works out the amount of overall pressure you need to push it back up the pipe. Well, you just calculate the flow and what pressure you'd have to use for that certain pipe and stuff because like you've got 22 mil pipe then it would go down to 15 which would calculate more pressure. Say you're putting it through like a 22 mil pipe, so it's 22 mils bigger size, and then you could, could reduce it down to 15, so then that would calculate it, that the pressure would be faster in the 15 mil pipe coming out of the, the tap or whatever you're using. So the bigger the diameter, the more water goes through, then the smaller, then it would push the pressure out more. You use a bigger pipe for when you're doing like uh, the pipe work underneath the sink and stuff. And then the smaller pipes for when you want to run a line. If you were setting out a template on a piece of paper and you was measuring up all the different pipes and you put it all into one measurement, add all the length of pipe that you need, then you can just kind of go and cut that piece of pipe off. Then you know you've got that right amount and then all you need to do is cut the sections off instead of like going to the pipe, cutting one off, go back, cut another one off. You can cut like a big piece off and then you've got that then instead of going back and forward and back and forward. You use it in gas a lot because like you've got to um, calculate the, um, the gas for, that's going through the, to, to the appliance. So when it comes out, it's like the meter. So you have to turn the cooker on, go to the meter and see what rate it's flowing at. So what, what um, gas is coming out the uh, appliance, that's what you use it for as well. So you type the, type the, um, the numbers on the gas meter, turn the appliance on, and then you go back and then calculate for like a minute and then the, the dials will go around so then you have to calculate what gas is going through that appliance. When we do bend pipes it's on the bending machine it has the has lines on different degrees angle it is so you don't really need to measure it as such because it's there for you but it can come in handy sometimes if it's not there then you have a tool that is two rulers put together and they bend so it tells you the angle. So it's kind of like a moving protractor. Um, so that you, being able to use a protractor kind of helps you out with using that as well. So knowing how to use a protractor will help you using that. And well, it's kind of the same reading it as well. So that will come in handy as well using that. I do use like calculations on the site and stuff. Like bathrooms, like you have to, so you put the bath in and then you've got to measure from the lip of the bath to the bottom of the floor so you can get the bath panel in. Because if, if it's not the right, correct height, then the bath panel won't go in. If you bend a pipe wrong, then you can't bend it back. You're going to have to get another piece, measure another piece out and try it again. But um, if you bend it back, it's going to, um, because it's already been weakened on the thing, if you bend it, try and bend it the other way, it's just going to crack straight down the middle because it, it's bending the metal, it's making it thinner. So once you bend it, you can't bend it back at all. That's what coming into the angles so if you need a 90 degree bend, then you'd measure it up on the bender and push it just so the line's matching in the middle of the pipe. And then you just let that go and it should be the right angle. So that comes in handy with the uh, learning how to measure angles with the protractor and stuff like that.